six more payments on the big loan. Woo woo. Yeah, I know. It's going to be a countdown in a big way. Hello, I'm Wendy Valencia. We are a family of three on a mission to pay off $300,000 worth of debt. And no, that does not include a house. We're here to motivate you on your journey. If that is something that interests you, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below. Today, I wanna go over the budget plan for next month. So let's just jump on in. In our utilities category, we have our cell phones and our storage unit. And if you are wondering why we have a storage unit, I am gonna go ahead and link that video right up here because when I don't, everybody's like, but Wendy, why do you have a storage unit? So rather than taking 10 minutes to explain it now, I'm just gonna link it. There's a legit reason. In transportation, we have $60 for gas because gas has gotten more expensive. And we have $70 for our Easy Pass. I don't expect Easy Pass to come through this month, but it did come through last month when I didn't expect it because of some driving that we were doing for work. And so I am going to go ahead and put it in every month. And if we don't use it at the end of the month, I'll just put it to debt. I'd much rather have it in there and not use it than not have it in there and have it go through like it did this time. In the Molina category, it is our typical three expenses, $590 for before and after care, $40 for her school bucks, which is her lunches. And she eats lunch once a week and sometimes breakfast if she didn't, you know, in her morning she wakes up, she doesn't feel like eating when she first wakes up and she gets hungry while she's at SAC before school. So we go ahead and let her have breakfast whenever she needs it. So, you know, sometimes 40 bucks lasts a couple of months and sometimes 40 bucks last a month. So, and the last is the $20 for miscellaneous school expenses. And that's like PTO events that come up during the month that I don't know are going to happen or, you know, a field trip expense or something like that. And you know, just 20 bucks, it's in there. We're good to go insurance and tax you see there are two usaa payments but they are listed as zero and that is because they are directly withdrawn from my paycheck and so they don't actually cross our every dollar but i need to keep them in there to remind me that they are in fact expenses the cmfg insurance that is twelve dollars and that is an insurance that i stupidly took out that i have to pay every month which should go away fingers crossed as soon as we pay off our big loan and then we have 3583 for Mauricio for his life insurance the next categories are the Wendy and Mauricio categories Mauricio has nothing in there and I have a hundred dollars for a haircut it has been no joke I think my third video I cut my hair off and I've got like almost 275 videos up now so it has been that long since I have gone to a hairdresser. Mauricio colors my hair. And because my ends are so bad, I've been having real problems with brassiness and they are super frizzy and dead on the ends. So I really, I'm gonna get a lot cut off probably. And that's gonna upset Mauricio cause he likes my hair longer. But the problem is it's in such bad shape right now that it's breaking off and it won't grow any longer. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off probably like this much. Don't freak out Mauricio, hair grows back. And in our cash envelopes, we have the same amount as we always do. We have 250 for groceries, 200 for blow money, $20 for the dry cleaner, $30 for Mauricio's haircut, $20 for Sally Beauty Supply for my hair coloring products, and $100 for family outings. And if you are wondering why Mauricio's haircut is in the cash category and mine is in the Wendy category, the reason is I have no idea how much my haircut is gonna cost, so I didn't want to take out cash. I'm planning on maybe going to someone that my sister-in-law has recommended um, that's not terribly expensive. I'd like to keep it on the cheaper side. She gives great cuts, so we'll see. In recurring annual fees, we have $30.97 for iTunes. That went up a dollar because Netflix went up last month, a dollar. Sometimes Netflix irritates me. We have $44.95 for Weight Watchers, $14.95 for Audible, $25 for Skype, and $3.99 for Amazon Music. Now, $25 for Skype, we almost never use that, but um, Mauricio uses Skype to call his family down in Colombia. 
So some months he spends more than others. So as you all well know, I'm a let's be safe, not sorry kind of budgeter. So I'd rather have it in there and, you know, forget about it. And at the end of the month, still have it and then move it to debt over the other alternative, which is have it draft my account and be overdrafted. Hey, subscribers, make sure you stick around to the end to see how much I'm putting to debt this month. Fingers crossed. And in my YouTube category, I have $4.50 for TubeBuddy, $5 for Backblaze, $3.43 for Morning Fame, and $19.95 for a YouTube group. In work expenses, we only have $22 for Mauricio's parking in case he needs it because I have to go in late or early or something. Sometimes I have to go in super duper early and then Mauricio has to go in later because he has to get Melia to school. So we have to pay for parking on those days rather than commuting. So we put in $22 that should cover him two days of parking. Sometimes we use it, sometimes we don't. And in sinking funds, we have the same $725 that we always have in sinking funds. And after last month's summer camp payments, which you will be seeing next week, I will never go back. We were able to get a huge discount on summer camps because we have sinking funds. So I love sinking funds. They are the best. I will never go back. Never, ever, ever. If you don't have sinking funds, I highly, highly, highly suggest you get them. And in my Amazon category, we have $100 this month because I feel like I am towards the end of the month, I have extra money left over and I'm just spending it cause I can. So I'm gonna bump that down to $100, see how we do with that. I think we'll do okay. And then in the cushion category, we have our standard $100 as well. So this month we are scheduled to put $7,803 and I forgot how many cents and 40 cents to debt. And while it's still really early, we haven't had our budget meeting, that's pretty awesome. That gives us a lot of wiggle room to still make our $7,000 minimum because we haven't been hitting that $7,000 mark and we really need to be hitting it if we plan on making our goal of paying off our largest debt by September. So having a little extra cushion going into the budget meeting will super de duper help us make that $7,000 minimum. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.